When they're thinking about enrolling their kids at Kumon, parents ask about their kids' learning differences. We get kids of all types at Kumon. We've had kids with trisomy, we've had ADHD, ODD, autism, you name it. Combinations of them all. In schools, public schools, especially uh, students with learning differences can be given 504 plans, IEPs, essentially individualized educational programs. So how does this stuff apply in Kumon? Well, it really doesn't come up. And it's not because we ignore learning differences. The fact is every student is a unique learner, everyone. And every student we have has an individualized curriculum. So it doesn't come up. Every kid is unique anyway. Maybe the problem is that the schools assume everybody is the same unless they're given this diagnosis or this label of being something different. And what is that doing for our kids? Just making them self-conscious. At Kumon, we honor every individual for who they are and help them to realize that comparing with their other eight similarly aged students they're gonna be different, no big deal. Now, with things like ADHD, this is something that Kumon really does help with. What do we do is first and foremost, before any kids learn anything new, we're training them to concentrate. We use the math and reading curriculum, but that's just a nice perk. Kids need that anyway for school, but the real Kumon method is, is brain training. We're talking about learning how to still your body and use all that brain power for concentration instead. A lot of kids, they've just been given these excuses that, oh, well, you can't sit still because you have something wrong with your brain or some difference in your brain, to put it nicely. Well, different for a kid, they hear that word, they think wrong, okay? So don't tell them that there's something wrong with them. Just give them the knowledge and enable them with the power to regulate themselves. So when I see a kid, they're writing something, but their other hand is wiggling somewhere else and their foot is climbing up the other chair. This is typical. Every kid does this. I just ask them, I was like, what's your brain doing right now? Is it thinking or is it moving your foot? Don't leak that brain power on these extraneous things. Control it. And believe it or not, they can do it. It just makes me wonder, has anyone ever said this to a kid before? There are kids who have more difficulty concentrating than others, but concentration is a skill just like anything else that can be developed and improved upon. So think about that. If you have a child with learning difference, uh, whether or not you're thinking about Kumon, use these principles. They will help.